Justice served for the man known as the NorCal Rapist. Roy Waller was convicted for his 15-year crime spree. That included rape and kidnapping cases here in the Bay Area. Reporter Marissa Perlman spoke with victims waiting for this day for almost two decades. Roy Waller expressionless, looking down at the defendant's table, listening to 46 horrific charges, all coming back with a guilty verdict. Today, some of Waller's victims say justice was served. 29 years of waiting and waiting, amazing, amazing, great day, great day. Nicole Ernest Pate was attacked inside her Rohnert Park home and is Waller's first known victim. She detailed a night of terror by a man in a ski mask. It was just good to stare at him because before I, I couldn't. Teresa Lane is relieved today. She was blindfolded and attacked in her Vallejo home in 1992. She fought her rapist, stabbing him in the forehead. Prosecutors pointing to a scar on Roy Waller's head as evidence of her assault, something she noticed when she looked at Waller when she took the stand. There's some things that will never, you know, go away, but he's, he's going away, so. <laughs> Prosecutors say every assault had the same M.O. Women tied to a bed for hours with their eyes taped shut. The suspect stealing things like ATM cards on the way out. Investigators used a genealogy website tracing DNA from crime scenes to Waller, the same technique that captured and convicted Golden State killer Joe D'Angelo. We're just thankful that the DNA was there and that the victims were able to receive justice. Marissa Perlman reporting. Now, Waller's defense attorneys had no comment after court. The jurors reached the verdict last night after just a few hours of testimony. And Waller faces life in prison when he is sentenced next month.